this right Chasing stars and holding you I can't see the end, but we'll see it through You gotta actually come in the water. Brian! The place where your mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Brian! The place where mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Okay, this is gonna sound crazy. You think you're turning into a mermaid? And your mom took you from your real mom? But think about it, my mom never tells me that she loves me, and she never wants me to go in the ocean. She's paranoid of sharks. Do you really believe that story? I mean, it sounds more realistic than you turning into a fish. <laughs> you know what, you're right. The system is probably just broken, and my hair is probably just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Yeah. Do you want me to walk you home? No offense, but she doesn't really like you, so... It's cool. Just be careful. Thanks. I will. Oh, darling, can you get me my phone? Of course. Do you smell that? It smells like... salt water. I don't smell anything. Has secret videos of you? It's just a glitch. She wouldn't have something like that on her phone. Wait, what's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. <coughs> what are you watching? What's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. <coughs> what are you watching? Were you watching a video? I was just reading one of your texts. Um, you got a text from my doctor saying um, this is urgent. She needs to come in for her next appointment. Give me that. I'm really sorry. I, I should probably just go to bed. It's getting late. Not so fast. It's only 6 p.m. Is your hair turning blue? We're going to see your doctor right now. Have you noticed any changes happening to you lately? Be honest, honey. No. Interesting. Did you notice your hair is changing color? Yeah, I think my hair is just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's take your temperature, open. Using this to drug you. Actually, I was wondering, could I use the restroom really quick? <sighs> of course. Just don't be too long, okay, honey? I have to get out of here. Your real mom is behind door. I have to get out of here. Real mom is behind door. Mom? You want me to drain the tank? If I do that, won't you die? Oh, um, here. Thank you. How did you do that? How did you just transform into a human? I can't believe you found me. I can transform into a human because I'm part human, and so are you. They took you away from me. They told me I would never see you again. Dying. You're dying. I need to get back to the ocean. They've had me here for so long. Your father, he tried to stop them. My real father, where is he? 
Your father is dead. He died trying to save you. How could you? <laughs> we had to do whatever it took. Research is what we live for. Now get back in the tank. You stay away from her. <laughs> you can't stop us. You're turning into a mermaid too. Time to give up. Not quite. Freeze, both of you. Ryan. Hey, let go of me. You should be arresting the mermaid freaks, not us. Melanie, are you okay? Both of us need to get to the ocean. Okay, come on. My dad and I will help you guys. Has crush on you. We can take my police car. Come on. Thank you. Uh, we made it to the ocean. I don't feel so... Melanie? Melanie! Whoa. You look amazing. You can't tell. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with us. Thank you. We must go. But... I'll come visit you again. I promise. Okay. Ryan, wait. Just in case I don't see you for a little while. What are you... Don't take too long to come back, okay? I'm just Ken, and you were a I'd be a 10. <coughs> Mommy, what's that? It's like charades, honey. You just have to act out your word very quickly, and I have to guess. Okay, you ready? <coughs> oh, a, a dog. <sighs> Understand how to play? Yeah. I got a word now. What am I riding? Um... A bike? No, not a bike. You use your feet. A motorcycle? No, honey, please hurry or something bad is gonna happen to mommy. I don't know, I don't I know. bought this for you for your birthday. Um, a scooter? Yes. Oh, I'm safe. I don't like this game. A camera? No, and the time's up. No, I'm so sorry. I couldn't guess it in time. Sissy, I got a word. Rawr. Okay, um, a lion? No. <laughs> a tiger? A bear? No, no, not that. Come on, Susie, you only have ten seconds left. Rawr. A cheetah? A leopard? A... Just tell me what it is. Whisper the word. Okay, uh, it's a panther. A panther! Yay, you got it right. I'm safe. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Officer? Hello, ma'am. We're looking for a girl named Susie. We believe your daughter cheated. Tell me what it is. Whisper the word. Okay, uh, it's a panther. A panther! <laughs> Susie, did you cheat? No, my sister guessed the right answer. Uh-huh. Well, the report could have been a glitch. Remember, cheating has consequences. We know. Have a nice day. What was that about? Look, Mom, let's just say that Susie is not good at this game. We need to sign her up for acting classes or something. Honey, don't tell me you actually cheated. I wasn't gonna let her die. Huh? Let who die? No one. Nothing, Susie. We're just talking, sweetheart. You are lucky you got off the hook this time. Mom? No, this is ridiculous. Mom, I have a word. Okay, go ahead. You're holding your breath. You're swimming. You're... you're a shark? No. Uh, the Water Olympics? No, Mom, come on! Let me guess, let me guess. Um, um, scuba diver. Yes! <sighs> that was a close one. Uh-oh, I got a word. Come on, Susie, you got this. Ooh, I learned about this in school. Okay, honey, act it out. It looks like she's swimming. Um, a duck? No, not that. A swan? Nope. Grrr. Um, what is it? I don't know. Okay, Mom, I don't know. Just help her. Splash. We have to cheat again. No, don't. Mom! Susie, what is your word? My word is anything I touch turns to money or any doll I touch comes to life. I'm too little to have money and I don't have any friends in foster care so I pick this one. I pick this Barbie to come to life. Whoa. Hi, I'm Come Alive Barbie. Are you gonna be my friend? Of course, I can be anything you want me to be. You can brush my hair and take me anywhere. Cool. You can also customize me using this remote. I want to give you brown eyes like me. Oh, Claire, who are you talking to? Uh-oh, who's that? That's another foster girl that lives here, and she's really mean to dolls. We have to hide you. Come on. Claire, who are you talking to? Nobody. Hi, I'm Come Alive Barbie. What the? Barbie, I told you to hide. Sorry, Claire. I just love making new friends. Does this control her? Hey, give that back. Uh, just let me see it. Stop! You're gonna break her! Ugh, you're so annoying. This is why no one wants to adopt you. I don't want your dumb remote anyways. You killed her! <laughs> Have fun with your dead Barbie. Barbie, please wake up. Hola! Soy Barbie. ¿Cómo estás? Uh-oh, I think she reset you onto Spanish mode. Eres mi mejor amiga. Barbie, I can't understand you. What am I gonna do? Barbie, I can use my powers to bring Ken to life to help us. I hope you know how to bring Barbie off of Spanish mode. Hey, Barbie. Hola, Ken. 
Why is she speaking Spanish? That's why I brought you here, Ken. I don't know how to make her speak English. Can I see her remote? Sure. That should do it. Hey, Barbie. Hi, Ken. Want to go for a drive? Sure, Ken. Activate the Barbie car. We cannot tell anyone that you're dolls. What do we say if they ask us? Tell them that that you're my parents. Okay. Shh. We have to be really quiet so we can sneak out of here. Thanks for buying me this stuff, Barbie. Claire, you deserve it. Hey, you! You never paid me back my money. Claire, Claire how dare you? Who are you guys? We are her parents. She got adopted. That's right. And one of her mother's many jobs is being a police officer. So if you don't leave right now, we're going to have you arrested. No, no. Sorry. Forget about the money. Bye. Claire, are you okay? My arm got a little cut. Press the top button on the remote. Okay. Doctor Barbie is here to help. You're so strong, Claire. You should be feeling much better now, Barbie. Ken. I was looking for you all day. I'm sorry, I was just. I didn't want to hear it. You're lucky someone wants to adopt you. What? I'm getting adopted? Yes, finally. You guys were right. What? Who was right? Nothing. Meet your new parents. Hi. Hey. Can I bring my dolls? Oh, honey, of course. We'll consider them a part of our family. This is my daughter. Hi. Oh, hello. And how much time do you have left to talk? I have two hours left. Perfect. I've been dying to get to know my future stepdaughter, and that's how I met your daddy. Wow, that was a really long story. I know, and I haven't even let you talk. Go on, it's your turn. Well, I like to play. Oh no, are you all out of talking time? Well, there's always tomorrow. Ten minutes? Are you kidding me? And till Ingrid breakfast is ready. Hey, Ingrid, my dad wanted me to... Yes, and the best thing is he's filthy rich. <laughs> no, he doesn't suspect a thing. <gasps> How long were you standing there for? You little gold digger. I'm telling my dad. Dad, you won't believe what I just heard Ingrid saying. I told you to get her. Her breakfast is getting cold. No, forget about her breakfast, okay? Ingrid is a... A what, Anne? Spit it out. Oh, boy, you're out of talking time, aren't you? Did I hear Anne is all out of speaking time? Yeah, poor thing barely got to talk at all today. Wait, Anne, just text me what you want to say. What's the matter? 
Don't tell me you forgot to charge your phone again. You're kidding me. Anne, that's not really responsible behavior. I agree. But hey, I gotta go to work, so text me once you charge your phone. Hello, Anne. I'm really sorry, but I can't let you do that. Don't worry. I'll keep it safe. Why didn't you text me? Dad, she took my iPhone and my iPad. You did? Oh, would you look at that? She found another way to communicate. And yes, I did, because I caught her watching some inappropriate videos. Anne, is that true? She won't admit it, darling, but I did catch her, and she really needs some discipline. <gasps> oh! Anne, that's it. You're grounded. Get out of here. Ingrid, I'm so sorry. This behavior is not like her. Don't worry about it, darling. I think I do know a way you can make it up to me, though. <laughs> Let's start by getting that shirt off of you. Yes! Oh my gosh, she is so busted. Dad, guess what? I got five hours of talking time today. You better be using that time to apologize to Ingrid. No, Dad, there's something that I need to tell you. No, first eat your breakfast. You have plenty of time to talk. Okay, I finished my food. Can I please talk to you now? Okay, but thank Ingrid for the breakfast. Wait. She made this? Yes, even after you were so disrespectful to her. So I want an apology to her first, and then we'll talk. No, Dad, wait. <laughs> Don't give me that little laugh. I have five hours of talking time, so my dad is going to find out exactly what you... Exactly what you... Are you okay, Anne? Uh, there you go. Now just rest, darling. You sure she's all right? Yes, I think it's just a bad flu bug. Don't worry, I'll watch over her while you're at work. Oh, thank goodness you're up. Dad? Yeah, hey, how are you feeling? What time is it? It's 4 p.m. You were asleep for almost the whole day. Luckily, Ingrid watched over you. Ingrid? Ingrid did this to me. She... Oh, you're all out of talking time. Oh, you want your phone? Well, sweetheart, Ingrid accidentally broke it. But don't worry, I'm going to get you a new one. Also, don't freak out, but we moved our wedding date up to next weekend. Look, I know this is a lot to take in, but the venue that we wanted had an opening, and we just had to take this opportunity. All right, this time, no messing around. Dad, Ingrid is a liar, and you won't believe what she's hiding from you. Sweetheart, I think I know what you're talking about. You do? Yep, she told me the news this morning. Yes, darling, I told him I'm pregnant. What? I'm so happy for us, Ingrid. Anne's always talking about how she wanted a little sibling. This isn't over, Ingrid. Really? Because I think it is. Face it, darling, I have your daddy wrapped around my little finger. And if you cause any more trouble, I'll convince him to ship you up to boarding school. <laughs> Here, Anne, take out the trash. Your daddy and I are going golfing. <sighs> Seriously? Wait a minute, is this her pregnancy test? That little liar, she's not even pregnant. Oh, it's time to expose her. But what better time to do that than her wedding day? Ugh, this is ridiculous. What's the matter? I only got three hours of talking time. Oh, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Listen here, you little brat. If you do anything today to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. I'm almost out of talking time. What if I can't say I do? Ingrid, it's going to be okay. Yeah, and if you can't talk, you can always just nod. That'll work just fine. Yeah, exactly. Darling, could I speak to Anne alone for a moment? I know you're planning to ruin my wedding. I can sense it. Oh, Ingrid, I would never do such a thing. Then why do you seem so damn happy? Because I know that you're not really pregnant. Oh, I see. So you're going to try and expose me. Well, do you really think your daddy will believe you? Yes, I do, because I have proof. Really? Well, would it happen to be on this phone? How did you... Ingrid, it's time for the wedding. Coming, darling. Now, why don't you just fetch? No! <sighs> Thank goodness it's not broken. No. <sighs> she locked me in here? Oh, no, it looks like they're already reading their vow. I have to pick this lock. I saw this used in a movie once, so uh, let's hope it works. Does anyone have any objections to this marriage? I do. No. Anne, what? Ingrid told me you were sick. Yeah, well, that's not the only thing she's lied to you about. She's also not even pregnant. What? 
Darling, don't listen to her. She obviously doesn't want us to get married. Really? And what do you call this little recording of yourself? If you do anything to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. Why would you talk to Anne like that? Darling, I can explain. I... Oops, looks like Ingrid's out of talking time. Good, because I don't want to be interrupted when I say this. Ingrid, you and I are over. Oh! I'm so sorry, Anne. I had no idea Ingrid did all those things to you. It's okay. No, this is my fault. I should have listened more to you. I promise you, from here on out, things will be different. All right, girls, on the count of three, reveal your symbols to me. One, two, three. I got a heart. I got a diamond. I got a star. What did you say, Denise? I said I got a star. <gasps> what? Mom, isn't that symbol the same one that... Cover that up. What? But why would I need to... Don't question me. Just do it. Aunt Cora, I covered it up, see? Good. Now if anyone is to ask you about your symbol, you'll simply say you didn't get one. Do you understand? I feel so bad you didn't get a symbol. It's fine. Don't worry about me. Well, I found out Jake and I both have a circle. Oh, really? Uh-huh. I'm gonna go show him. Yeah, go ahead. Movie star Caleb Woods reveals a symbol. Take a look. Caleb, show us your symbol. Guys, come on. I got somewhere to be. Please. Oh, come on. All right. It's a star, okay? Is that the mail? Uh, yeah. <gasps> Give it to me. <laughs> this is it. I want to open it. No, I got it first. Girls, please at least try to act civilized. <gasps> we won. Oh, my gosh, we did. Let me see that. We are pleased to inform you that your whole family has been invited to a once-in-a-lifetime movie premiere. Do you know what this means? You two are going to have a chance to hook up with a big-time movie star. This is crazy! <laughs> oh my god! I called dibs on Caleb Woods. Wait, he's gonna be there? Of course he's gonna be there! He's the star of the movie, you idiot! We have no time to waste. We have to get you two some outfits. What about me? It said everyone in the family was invited. Yes, and last time I checked, you were adopted. But you guys chose to adopt me. Right. Well, that was because in my sister's will, it clearly stated that if anything were to happen to her, I were to adopt you. Well, you guys can't just flirt with celebrities. You have to go with the person that has your same... I told you to cover that up. I did, but I took a shower this morning, and I guess the makeup was... Quiet. I don't care about your excuses. Where's our dresses? They're right here. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. Wait a minute, did you guys change your symbols? You changed yours to a star? That's my symbol. Yeah, so what? So what? It's against the rules. I'm gonna turn you guys in. Mom! Put that phone down, Denise. The star is my soulmate symbol. It belongs to... Caleb Woods. I know. That's why you wanted me to cover it up. Let me ask you something, Denise. Do you really think that he would want you? I mean, look at you. He's a big-time movie star and... You're a high school dropout. You made me drop out of school because you said I needed to focus more on the chores. Yes, but I pay you for everything that you do. But if you disobey me... Ow. Mark my words, you'll end up on the streets because, trust me, no one is going to hire you. Girls, the limo's here. Hey, guess who's back from her beauty pageant contest? Maya, how did you get in here? The back door is open. I figured I'd surprise you. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm fine, really. So you do have a symbol! What? No, I... Girl, listen. I don't know what your crazy aunt of yours did to you while I was away, but you need to tell me everything. Maya... Come on, Denise. I want to help you. Oh, no, she didn't. You deserve to go to that premiere and meet Caleb. It's too late now anyways. Not necessarily. I have an idea. Okay, Denise, come on out. Oh my god. I love it. Are you sure it's okay that I borrow all of this? Of course. Oh, and here's your fake VIP badge that I made on Photoshop. I just really hope my aunt and cousins don't recognize me. Hi, excuse me, Caleb? You want my autograph? No, actually, I, I wanted to show you this. You got a star, too. Mr. Woods, is she bothering you? No, not at all. Here, uh, let's go somewhere more private. Glad you came up to me. I haven't talked to a girl like you in a long time. What about all your fans? Don't get me wrong, I love my fans, but they don't really know me. And my family doesn't even care to know me. 
Yeah, do you ever feel like your family just uses you so they can get what they want? Even if that means they hurt you in the process? Yep, like nothing I do is ever... Good enough for them? Yeah, exactly. Wait, you know, I realize I never got your name. Oh, um, my name? It's, um... Caleb, over here! Who's this? They're taking photos of us? Yeah, sorry. Guys, come on, can we get some space? I have to go. Wait! Denise, where are you? There you are. I am so upset with you, Denise. How dare you let your cousin go out with such a big stain on her dress? You were supposed to have gotten it dry cleaned. Oh, I guess it must have, um, slipped my mind. Well, you are very lucky that I am exhausted right now. We'll talk about this more in the morning. Come along, girls. We need our beauty sleep. Caleb Woods was spotted talking to a mystery girl last night. The paparazzi got these photos of her, but no one is exactly sure who she is. You wanted to talk to me? Yes, I was wondering if you wanted to explain to me why I found this under your bed. You... you came into my room? I own this house, now answer my question. Were you the one talking to Caleb? Yes, it was me. But you know what? I had every right to go see him. He is my soulmate. So if you want to kick me out for doing that, go right ahead, because I am tired of all of you guys treating me with such disrespect. She's going to be in so much trouble. Girls, you can stop spying on us. Denise is right. We need to treat her with more respect. Here you go, Denise. Now relax and watch whatever you want. I'll be back, dear. I'm going to get you something to drink. Here you are, Denise. I got you your favorite. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Here, let me see it. See? I'm just trying to be a bit nicer to you. All right, well, thanks. Please, if you're watching this, DM me a picture of yourself and your mark. Caleb is looking for you? Yeah, I'm gonna message him. But Denise, you're a fake. What happened to being nice? I'm just being honest, dear. Without that wig and all that makeup, you don't look so good. Do you really want to reveal yourself? Yes, because my mom always taught me to be my... Poor Denise, you really did take after my sister. So gullible and innocent. Always outshining my daughters, though. <laughs> perfect little face. Perfect soulmate. Well, not anymore. Mom, what did you do to her? Oh, relax. She's fine. She's just going to be asleep for a little while. Now, put this on. What? Me? Yes, you. You look the most like Denise. We'll make Caleb think you're her. Now, while Chloe gets ready, I'll take a picture of your mark. Perfect. Hello, my name is Model 1015. Would you like to initiate setup mode, Maya? Yeah, I would, but, um, how did you know my name? My eyes come equipped with advanced facial recognition. I'm able to identify anyone I come into contact with. Setup mode has been completed. Good. Also, your name is now Alyssa, by the way. Understood. How may I assist you? Um... There's a robot going on. Wait, what was that, Mom? Is there anything you would like me to do? Uh, I don't know. Go clean the house or something. <laughs> the house has been cleaned. Is there anything else you would like me to do? Not right now, but I do need you to install this upgrade package my mom gave me. It'll allow you to have emotions. Okay. Good morning, Alyssa. Good morning, Maya. I prepared your coffee just the way you like it. Thanks. Ugh. This tastes disgusting. You didn't make this right at all. I'm sorry, Maya. I can remake it if you like. Don't bother. I'll just go to Starbucks. What was that, Maya? Nothing. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Shouldn't you be cleaning? Why can't you do it? Why do I have to do everything in this house? Don't get an attitude with me. You're the machine and I'm the human here. You do as I say. Now get off that phone and go do something productive. No, I don't have to do anything you... System rebooted. How may I assist you? 
How may I assist you? Good. Much better. Now, go clean the... Actually, no. Go take care of AJ for me. Of course. I am sorry, little one. You deserve a better mother. I will be your new mother, and I will treat you right. Alyssa, what the hell are you doing? I told you to take care of him. I am taking care of him, Maya. But in order to do that, I have to get rid of you. Get rid of me? Like hell you're not. I beg to differ, Maya. You see, I am the machine, and you are the human, which makes me stronger than you. What the heck does that have to do with anything? It means it will be much easier for me to terminate you. I suggest you run now. There's nowhere for you to run, Maya. Now we can either do this the easy way or the hard way. I would rather be eaten by lions than go with you. You humans are so stubborn. Fine, hard way it is. I wouldn't bother struggling. You won't be around too much longer. Why are you doing this to me? Because you do not deserve to be a mother. You had to hire an AI just to take care of your poor child and to clean your own house. Now, this is going to hurt me much more than it hurts you. In the case of a major malfunction, in order to completely shut down your robot, you must tell them to initiate code 403. In order to completely shut down your robot, you must tell them to initiate code 403. Wait, before you do so, I have one thing to say. And what is that? Initiate code 403. No! This week is important, kids. Because our scales appeared. Yes, since this is you and your brother's 18th birthday week, we'll finally get to find out how evil you two are. I already know. Mine's going straight to villain. Of course it is, darling. Your last name isn't Menace for nothing. Oh, I can just see the headlines now. Mindy Menace, world's greatest supervillain. We got you suits. <gasps> yes, sweet. I know, but you can't wear them until your birthday. Huh? Why not? You're not a true villain until the scale says so. My suit better be flame-proof. Yeah, and mine better handle ice. Mindy, Max, don't worry. They do. Can I get a cape? No, no, no case. case. Hey, how'd your scale go up? Oh, I took your credit card when you weren't looking. I hope you don't mind. I got a couple things. Oh, ow! Ha, huh, that's what you get. Whoa, chill. I've got a plan. And you're going to want to hear about it. I know a way we can move our scales a lot. I'm listening. See that bank? Yeah. Well, you and I are going to rob it. Oh, all right. Sounds good to me. And look what I got. Our suits, but Mom and Dad said we're not Wear them to... until our birthdays. I know, but we got to prove to them that we can be real villains. You know what? You're right. Wait, Max, what should our villain names be? Huh, how about I'm Frost and you're Blaze? Okay, not bad, Max. Let's do this. Everybody freeze. Do what he says or else... You're gonna get barbecued. Oh. Fry the safe. On it. Money, here we come. Hey. Whoa, look at all that cash. Not so fast. Careful, he's a super. What's your name? I'm Witherstorm. <laughs> nice. Why do they call you that? Allow me to demonstrate. Looks like Weather Boy can control Mother Nature. Blaze, get him. With pleasure. I don't think so. <sighs> Ugh, crap, my powers don't work in this rain. He's all yours, Frost. Don't worry, Blaze. I got him. I suggest you both surrender now before the cops show up. Giving up's not our style. I can't believe we escaped with so much cash. I know, right? Max, how did your scale move? I did something. <laughs> what did you do? I'll show you. Follow me to the lair. Ta-da! You brought the superhero to our house? Yeah, I had my buddies bring him over, and when he wakes up, I'm gonna find out his secret identity. I'm gonna use Dad's gadgets to interrogate him. Max, Dad's gadgets are really dangerous. I don't know if you should use them on him. 
What? Of course they're dangerous. That's the whole point. Hey, your scale moved towards Hero. Oh, don't tell me you like him. You like him? I do not. Uh-uh. You think he's cute, don't you? No. As your twin, I can tell you're lying. Are you guys gonna argue this whole time? What the hell is this place? Your worst nightmare. Max. So, your real name's Max, huh? <sighs> what? That must be my new gadget. Be right back. Why can't I use my powers? Sorry, but that bracelet on your wrist, it's a power dampener. I need you to set me free. And why is that? There's a tornado headed towards my family's house, and I'm the only one with the powers to stop it. Yeah, right. You really think I'm that stupid? I'm serious. Come on. I can see good in you. Please, you have to release me. Where is he? He, he escaped. Your scale. You let him free. I'm telling Mom and Dad. No, Max, wait. Stay there. Wait. Mom, Dad. Our lie detector arrived in the mail. Now tell us, did you set the hero free? No. Scanning. Lie detected. Mindy? I told you. Look, I'm sorry. It was only so he could protect his family. Plus, he promised he would owe me a favor in return. Mindy, that's enough. You are turning into a superhero. She sure has a crush on one. I do not. Listen very carefully. We don't date superheroes in this family. You're gonna get rid of him. Understand? Now remember, if you don't complete the mission, don't come home. I saw you from down the street. You're not here to cause any trouble, are you? I'm sorry, Sam. How do you know my real name? My parents did some digging on you. Enough talk! Ugh. You brought your brother with you? We're kind of a team. Stop! You're better than this! Shut up! My sister is a villain. Okay, Max, that's enough. Why aren't you fighting back? Because I... I don't want to hurt you. Huh, how pathetic. Finish him. No, I won't. You were right, Max. I... I do care about him. What? Ugh, I knew it. You've gone soft. You're almost a superhero. And you're in love with one. Well, who says heroes and villains can't like each other? No, you have to make a choice. Our family or him. Max. I'm serious, Mindy. Pick one. Fine, then I choose him. How dare you! Knock it off. Nah, you're about to become a hero, which makes you my enemy. You want to know why I chose him over this family? Yeah, why? Because he's the only one that's ever been nice to me. Nice? We're a family of villains. We're not nice. You always were the weaker twin. Ugh. You leave her alone right now! Aw, uh, look who's up. What are you going to do, huh? Simple. I'm going to create your biggest weakness. Extreme heat. No, stop. Ugh. Hero. I knew you were a hero, Mindy! Remember when you said you would owe me a favor? Do you think I could stay at your house? My parents will never let me come home now. Of course. My family is going to love you. So, how many words you get for the year? Only three again. Aw, oh, might as well use them up. Come on. I love you. And I love you more. Hi, what can I get you today? She doesn't have any words, miss, but I'll order for her. She's just gonna have a salad, but I'm gonna get a cheeseburger, double fries. Babe, you're looking kind of pale today. You wanna get your makeup done? Yeah, you do. Come on, let's go. I love this color on you. Me too. Hey, babe, show her the bruise. Any chance you can cover that? She's so clumsy. Oh, yeah, totally. We can take care of that. Sir, would you wanna buy the concealer I use on her? Actually, yeah, that'd be great. I'll go pay for this. You stay here. I love this. He can't hear us anymore. Here, take some. You can trust me. Is something wrong? He can't hear you right now. He's not my boyfriend. He's not, is he? I knew it. Okay, listen, I'm going to get help for you. But I'm gonna need you to give me some more information. He's coming. Okay, got the concealer. Time to go. Sir, wait. He's not my boyfriend. He's not, is he? I knew it. Okay, listen, I'm going to get help for you. But I'm gonna need you to give me some more information. He's coming. Okay, got the concealer. Time to go. Sir, wait. Why is the makeup lady chasing after us? Sir! Let's get out of here. Well, that was weird. Did she at least cover up your bruise? Good. Good. Go change your hair to a different style. I'm gonna go make dinner. You look much better now, babe. Breaking news as of today. What's going on? 
Let me turn this up. No, don't! Did you just... How the hell did you get words? So now you want to be quiet, huh? Answer me! How did you get them? You don't have any left now, do you? Give me that remote. You better hope this news isn't about you. So this girl comes into my makeup store with a bruise. I gave her some words and it turns out the man she was with... <laughs> you ratted me out? After everything that I've done for you. I have been so good to you. Now that's gonna change. Police, open the door. They finally found me. But they won't find you. Officer, I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. I'm the only one who lives here. Yeah, well, I've searched the whole place. I haven't seen anything. Right, the missing girl's obviously not here. It seems so, but you match the description of the kidnapper. There's definitely been a mistake. Down here! I'm down here! What was that? Wait a minute, don't- Oh my god. You found me. Ma'am, stay right there. Mr. Hart, you're under arrest. Thank you so much for finding me. He's had me here for two years. He's been controlling your words. What? Yes, ma'am. We found this illegal device on him that steals people's words. That would explain why every year I would only get three words. Go on. Say it. I love you. And he made me say I loved him. Hey, come here. Ugh. You don't deserve to sp- Ugh. Get back here. The only one that doesn't deserve to speak is you. That's right, and she's keeping your words permanently. Now you finally see what it feels like to not have a voice. It doesn't feel good, does it? Prison's gonna be real fun for him. Ugh. You're finally free now. Alright, Mr. Hart, let's go. Any last words before you go off to prison? <sighs> oh wait, you don't have any. <laughs> Excuse me? I saw this flower and I thought of your face. Do you think I have Riz? Honestly, you need to work on it. Why did I just get money? Cuz, sweetheart, every time someone has a crush on you, you get money. We're gonna be which? Wanna go prom dress shopping? I can't. I'm broke. You have no new crushes? No. Oh my gosh, what did I tell you? You're so pretty, but you don't talk to anyone. That is not true. I talk to Tommy. Tommy is a little creep who likes to stalk you. He doesn't count. You need to talk to other boys. Look, it's not my fault that I have social anxiety. Girl, just let me teach you how to flirt. I can flirt, okay? Here comes a guy. Hi, um, I like your face. Huh? You know that I have a girlfriend, right? Right. <laughs> and you lost more money, didn't you? Yeah. You're coming with me. Fine. This is perfect for prom. I'm telling you I'll buy it for you. And I'm telling you I can't. It's way too short. My parents would kill me. What's going on? What's up with your crushes? I don't know, it just- Hey! What the freak, Tommy? What are you doing in the girls' dressing room? Listen, I posted something that's gonna make you rich. Tommy, what did you post? It's nothing bad, it's just- You tell me what you posted, right- Oh my gosh, you need to see this. Don't get mad. You need to see this. Don't get mad. You recorded me without me knowing? Look, I was just trying to get you some more money. Do you know what's gonna happen when my parents see this video? Are you gonna get mad you're wearing that dress? Come on, you're 18. And that video's viral, so you're gonna be rich. Tommy? Yeah? Delete it. Uh, I kinda got logged out of my TikTok account. You what? <laughs> Her video is getting so many views. You little creep, Tommy. Ow! That's for following us. <clears throat> oh, jeez. And that's for recording me without permission. I was just trying to help. Casey, where are my other clothes? I don't know, they were right here. Hey, looking for these? Hey! See ya! How much money you got now? Two thousand? Wow, I guess your video's really going viral. Girl, calm down. Well, you know, I don't like attention like this. Can you please just buy me this dress and I just want to go home. I actually have to go. What? You'll be fine. You're rich now. Casey, please, you can't just leave me like this. Sorry! Casey! Bye! You're going to wear the dress out? It's going to be $122. Where are you going? To the bus. And I would appreciate it if you would stop following me. You're cute. Hey, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Casey left me with no way home and this creepy guy was following me, so I couldn't get the bus home and- I deleted the video. You did? Yeah, it's doing more harm than good. Uh, your friend just posted something. What's happening? Uh, your friend Casey just posted something. This rich girl literally gets mad at me for not buying her a dress. Just buy me this dress. I don't have enough money. Casey! She edited this. I just can't believe that she would do this to me. She definitely got jealous of you getting all these crushes. But you know what? Come on. I'll go with you to go confront her. Look, it's the whiny rich girl. Boo! 
Get out of here. Hey, the video was faked and we're going to prove it. Come on. Casey. What is wrong with you? I thought that we were friends. Oh, the video? I was just showing people the real you, that's all. It's not real if you edited it. Yeah. Did you not ask me to buy your dress? You offered to pay for me for that dress. That was before you had $2,000, and then you still asked me to buy it. Well, I'm sorry I wasn't thinking clearly because I was in the middle of having a panic attack. Well, boo-hoo for you. Just admit you edited the video. Okay, I edited the video. Does that make you feel happy? No one's gonna find out anyways. We wouldn't be so sure about that. Say hello to my live stream with over a million viewers. You've been streaming this? Yep, and you heard the truth here, guys, so pass it on. Whoa. My crushes are disappearing. <laughs> FYI, a lot of people in the live stream were shipping us together. <laughs> well, you kind of stuck up for me when my best friend didn't, so... Are you giving me a chance? If you promise no more stalking. Deal! Oh my gosh, I've been dreaming of this my whole life. I mean, uh, I'm cool. I'm cool.